Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. And it be true? North Korea makes stunning announcement. Trump is pleased. North Korean dictator Kim Jong Un made an incredible claim in the wake of talks with President Donald Trump. If true, it could score a win that was once thought to be impossible. For years, America has struggled with North Korea. Past presidents have done a very poor job dealing with a rogue nation. Barack Obama, like many before him, thought playing games with the country was the right solution. We parlayed, delayed, and made excuses. Meanwhile, the small communist nation raced to perfect its nuclear weapons. Enter President Donald Trump. In his first year in office, Trump took North Korea by the scruff of the neck, treating them like the spoiled brats they are. The president gave them the tough treatment. As Kim Jong Un promised to wipe America off the map, Trump matched him with even stronger words. The president promised fire and fury against the communist dictatorship. Very quickly, North Korea backed down. It's clear that North Korea only responds to tough talk. When Trump handles them in that way, they realize he means business. They are a nation that respects strength. All it took was a few stern words from Trump for them to back down. Hmm. Just how wimpy were our former presidents? Answer: Very. Recent months have resulted in unprecedented developments. No expert or pundit could have predicted that North Korea would meet with South Korea, discussing peace talks. Nobody, short of a prophet, would have predicted that Kim Jong Un himself would agree to meet with President Donald Trump. That historic meeting is soon to take place. It will be one of the most significant moments in an already amazing presidency. Now, something even more significant is unfolding. On the eve of this meeting, Kim Jong Un is discussing a complete denuclearization across the Korean Peninsula. You heard that right. The man once determined to drop nukes on South Korea, Japan, and America is now willing to give that all up. North Korean dictator Kim Jong Un said he's willing to talk with President Trump about getting rid of North Korea's nuclear weapons as part of a denuclearization across the Korean Peninsula, a Trump administration official confirmed to Fox News on Sunday. The confirmation came ahead of a meeting between the two leaders, which officials have suggested would take place by May. South Korea, which is shuttled between Pyongyang and Washington to set up the talks, said Kim had expressed willingness to discuss giving up nuclear weapons during his upcoming meetings with South Korean President Moon Jae-in and Trump, but North Korea hadn't confirmed such discussions until Sunday. Source: Fox News. This is pretty huge. For a very long time, North Korea has promised war. They have been working on developing not only nuclear warheads but missiles capable of carrying them across the Pacific. For decades, they have branded the United States as their greatest enemy. South Korea, our ally, was in constant danger of attack or invasion. Now, under President Donald Trump, there is this shocking about face. Do you think it was a coincidence? As North Korea's dictators pushed for war, their people suffered. The North Korean citizens struggle for basic necessities, especially food. Their human rights are severely restricted. Meanwhile, the government spends cash that they don't have on weapons. These meetings between South Korea, North Korea, and the U.S. might bring relief to many. Hopefully, peace can be achieved so their people can actually thrive. Of course, the usual critics have dismissed this historic announcement. Our own swamp dwellers, unwilling to admit Trump's success, are claiming Kim Jong's words are baseless. It's possible that Kim Jong Un has a different meaning in mind. Abraham Denmark, a former senior U.S. defense official, said, noting that a possible denuclearization offer appears to be contingent on the U.S. creating the right conditions. So far, it sounds like the same old tune. Source: Fox News. Sure, the same old tune. A dictator that habitually promised to destroy America, suddenly talking about ending their nuclear program. Yeah, we've all heard that before. Oh wait, we haven't. This is something Kim Jong Un has never said. So why would former American officials make this claim? Because there are still plenty of corrupt swamp dwellers who want war. Globalists have opposed the Trump administration from day one. There's nothing they'd like more than to see the U.S. go to war with yet another country. That would put a strain on our country and economy, making it easier for them to exploit us. Peace talks with a longtime enemy would put a damper on their plans. Then there is the simple explanation: if Trump is able to sign a peace deal with North Korea. It would be a major win, defying every expectation. The man the left accuses of being short-tempered, racist, and hateful would score a win that even their precious Democrats couldn't. It would put him up there with Ronald Reagan, permanently. Obviously, they would try to undermine this situation, but 
as in everything else, they will fail. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.